How to bleed a radiator. Over time, air can seep into your central heating and will tend to bubble up to the top of your radiators, especially upstairs. This air can affect how efficiently the radiators heat your rooms. Radiators can also be noisy when filled with air. To check if you need to bleed your radiator, run your hands over it when the central heating is on, being careful not to burn your hands if it's hot. If the radiator is cooler at the top than at the bottom, the chances are the air has built up. Switch your central heating and hot water off at the boiler and wait for the radiators to cool down before bleeding them to avoid scalding. This will allow all of the air to rise to the top of the radiator, ready for bleeding. It is best to let the system settle for five minutes. To release the air, you will need a radiator key. It's a small box spanner that fits the tiny release valve in your radiator. To locate that, check the top edge of the radiator. You'll normally find a small square pin. That is the release valve. Now you can release the trapped air. But before you start, note that this can get a little messy. As air is released, water can often spray out of the radiator. So to protect your paintwork and carpet, drape a cloth or towel between the radiator and the wall and on the carpet beneath the radiator. Also place a small bowl underneath the radiator to catch any water that might leak out and keep another cloth nearby. Then, place the radiator key into the release valve and carefully twist it one or two turns anti-clockwise. The radiator will hiss as the air is slowly released. If the valve accidentally comes out, use an adjustable spanner to replace. Once all the air is released, after a few seconds, the hissing will be replaced by a gurgle and water will start to ooze or spray out. When this happens, you will need to twist the key clockwise and close the valve. You've now removed all of the air from your radiator and the job is complete. Here is a list of the tools you'll need to bleed your radiator.